Hi everybody. If you've seen any of my videos, you know it's all about doing it easier, quicker, and inexpensive. Well, I uh, <laughs> saw this one video that this guy did, and his name is Harley Craig, and he was using an electric fillet knife. He published that on 2016. And when I was watching it, um, he was using a shorter fillet knife with a curved blade, and he was having some trouble cutting into the comb. A lot of it, I think, was because the bees didn't completely draw it out, but I think the blade was just too short for the frame. So that got me thinking. You know, in most mechanical industrial uh, decappers, they're all knives that just keep going back and forth. So I had the opportunity to at a thrift store to pick up an electric knife. I already had, and this is a straight blade electric knife, not the curved fillet. I already had the on off switch and this is a speed. This is kind of optional. A lot of times you'll get um, a tool that just makes the tool, the electric, it's just geared too high and it, it runs too fast and this will either slow it down or speed it up. So I got this thing all set up and I found that if you um, either wire or duct tape the switch so it's constantly on, it works much better than trying to manipulate it, and especially using a foot switch. It just gives you more control. So when I first tried it, um, I, <laughs> I know I use this, frame, this phrase a lot, but I was shocked. It was like, oh my god, this, <laughs> this is so much easier. And as you can see, I've got an electric knife, I've tried all different types of knives, fillet knives, I tried different uh, serrated knives. The one knife that actually worked the best for me was a long, really thin bread knife. And now I can't even find it. I'll never use it again anyway. But anyway, all you got to do, stick it on there, hit the switch. You see how easy that is? And it's done. And every one of those cell caps is cut off cleanly. If that was too fast, let me show you again. And I don't know about you, but this is the quickest I've ever uncapped honey. And it is done. Go from there right into your extractor. So if you get the opportunity to uh, pick up one of these, <laughs> They are worth every bit of money for decap and honey. And uh, I'll, I'll never use this thing again, this heat knife or any of my other knives. It's all electric knife for me from here on out. Anyway, if you um, are having trouble with your bees drawing the honeycomb out, I always use frame spacers. This is a 9 frame for a 10 frame Langstrom, Langstroth. And uh, if you don't have the spacers, you can always use one of these spacers that are by hand. And what you can do is, if the bees are having trouble, you can put all the frames close together and then use your hand spacer as they start drawing the, the frames out. And that way it'll draw it out way beyond the frame so you can cut it off cleanly. Anyway, I just wanted to share this, uh, this wonder tool that I stumbled on with the rest of you folks out there. Uh, it, it will certainly, then it did, speed up my decapping process. So, other than that, um, have a good day and good luck with your bees.